Hi, Jeremy Morgan here. Today I'm going to show you how to install the ice tower cooler on the Raspberry Pi 4. Now the ice tower cooler is this big giant fan and heat sink that you can put on the CPU of your Raspberry Pi. Now, I don't know if you can see it really well on camera here, but I already have a couple heat sinks on here. So the installation process should be virtually the same for you, except I've got to remove some heat sinks to make this work. So here's the heat sinks that I have on it right now. And I put these on basically so it would run a little bit cooler while I'm doing things, but I'm going to be doing some computer vision and machine learning stuff. So I need a little bit more cooling power than that. This is what's going to end up going on there. So let's get started. So the kit comes pretty complete. You have some tabs here and all the screws and hardware, the fan itself, and this plastic plate. It also comes with a neat screwdriver. Here I'll remove my old heat sinks from the Pi. Okay, so I've got some napkins here. I'm going to uh, wipe this off with rubbing alcohol. Just to make sure I've got a nice clean surface for this. Cool. This kit comes with a nice little screwdriver here, which we'll be using. And so after that dries, the first thing I'm going to need to do is put some pads down. So I think I'm going to want this to face away. So I'm probably going to mount it this way. That way I have a little more room here. See if I mount it this way, it's going to be hanging right over the GPIO, which I obviously don't want. So I am going to want to face it this way. So I'm going to take out these little rubber pads here. And take this little pad here and put it right on the SOC. I've got the little uh, adhesive pad there on the SOC. And now I need to attach the mounting brackets to this thing. So it looks like these go right here, right here. So go ahead and attach those. And just screws. Here's my 2.5 mounting screws. So I will attach this one. I don't know if you can see there what I'm doing. This one goes here. And hopefully I am going to do a fit check of this to make sure that my fan is going in the proper direction. If not, I'll just reverse these two mounting plates. And this guy here should, should line up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little plastic piece right here and take this little plastic piece and I'm going to take these. We're going to mount this plastic piece first so that I can index those pins a little bit. Okay. So this is just a little acrylic board. And if you can see here, now we have something to set the pie on to kind of index it. There we go. Now it's, now it's sitting and indexed so we can really uh, line that up properly. Now these little things are also going to have these on them.
Okay, so now you can see the studs, all four of them are mounted on this. And so I can kind of mock it up a little bit and just test fit to make sure that it's going to fit properly and that the coolant will be directly above the system on a chip. Okay, and so far everything looks like it fits. The fan is not going over the GPIO in order to get the best contact. So I'm really happy with this, so I'll go ahead and cinch it down. And so just looking at this, I think it's actually going to be easier to pull it all apart and we'll put the studs in a different way. I'll show you here how I think we can make this a little easier. Pull all the screws back out. Rather than driving it with the screw, which is what I was just doing there a minute ago, I'm going to drive the studs themselves into each other and then we'll just put screws into there. That'll make it a little bit easier. And I can pull off that uh, other piece of acrylic that I forgot. Okay, so now that I know that it's mocked up and it's going to fit, I'm gonna go ahead and drive these two together on here and then we'll screw the acrylic panel to the bottom of it. So as you can see, we've got a really good connection here. This thing's really solid. And now we're ready to put that panel on the bottom. It's a nice little acrylic panel here. Okay, so now we have our acrylic panel on here. So we've got this thing securely mounted to the board. It isn't going anywhere. It's got that little adhesive panel inside there. Uh, my GPIO is still wide open, so I can do stuff with that. And in fact, I'm going to need to connect this fan to the GPIO. So I'll go ahead and hook this up to five volt power. And from what I understand, you can run these either five volt or 3.3. We'll run it on five at first. And I may need to route these wires a little bit different just to keep it off of the, the heat sink itself. So these are the pins that I chose to do the 5.5 and then a ground. So uh, we'll fire this thing up and see if it runs. RIP old heat sinks, you did great. <clears throat> okay, and I've got a power supply here. Ooh, look at that pretty light. Lights right up. And the fan is going. And it's actually not that loud. I mean, this is pretty much right up against the microphone. Um, this is not a very loud fan, which is awesome. Okay, so I've got this thing mounted. It's very secure. Um, it's very quiet. And I got this because I'm going to be doing a lot of computer vision and machine learning and things like that with this. So I needed that extra cooling capacity. Um, going to be doing some compiling, things like that. So I would recommend this. You, you can't beat the price for this thing. Um, if you can afford the room, even if you're not doing computer vision or compiling or anything like that, like if you can afford this kind of room, for this fan, this will extend the life of your Raspberry Pi by quite a bit. Um, I have a feeling this is going to keep it a lot cooler. So I'm very happy with this product. This is a very nice product and uh, I can't wait to see how it performs. I, I think I'm going to go and compile OpenCV on it, which I know is gonna ramp that temperature way up. And so I'm really curious to see how well this handles it. And that's how easy it is to install the ice tower cooler on the Raspberry Pi. If you like my videos and you like these tutorials, please subscribe. Also, check out my website at www.jeremymorgan.com.